How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here and today's video is on these Sabian FRX cymbals. What are FRX symbols? Well, let me tell you, they are symbols designed by the artisans up at Sabian specifically for playing environments where regular symbols, traditional symbols, might be a little bit too much. Now, let's face it, most of us working drummers or even amateur drummers, we're not on big, huge arena stages or big theater stages every night playing with giant PAs and all of that, playing on in-ear systems. Most of us are playing in churches on Sunday morning at weddings, in banquet halls, in small clubs, even musical theater for your local school, all kinds of situations like that. So we have to be sensitive to the volume. Now, that said, I've done other videos here at Sweetwater about bringing down the volume on stage. It's still up to you, the player, to be responsible for your volume, no matter what gear you have. Can't state that fact enough. That, the volume is in your hands. But Sabian has come up with a really cool product to help you with that where you could still play. You're not sacrificing your playing. Drums and percussion are really the only instruments out there where we have to sort of sacrifice, maybe not the best word, but you know, play softer, not play as hard, not have as much passion, depending on the room we're in. Guitar players, keyboard players, bass players, they can go direct, they can go through their pedal boards, and still play their instruments with the same fervor, the same passion, and even though the volume's gonna be coming out quieter out of the PA. Drums, we have to you know, take it down a notch and still have that same passion and feel so the people listening to the music get the enjoyment out of it. All right, let's get into the details of these cymbals right now. There is one, two, three, four, five, six varieties of FRX cymbals. Three crashes, two rides, and a set of hats. 16, 17, 18 inch crashes. You have a 20 and a 21 inch ride and a set of 14 inch hats. Now what they have done here is they strategically drilled holes in these cymbals, basically just taken away mass in specific areas of the cymbals to take away frequencies. Not take away volume necessarily, it's the frequencies for perceived volume. It's sort of in that high mid, high end frequency range. And they're just, they have a nice mellow sound but a very buttery feel in the hands. You can hit them hard, they sound like real cymbals just with perceived volume to be a little bit less. Let me hit all the symbols for you right now before I play another musical example. I'm gonna turn the snare wires off too so there's no buzz in the background. With regular symbols, sometimes you know, big thick rock cymbals, that white noise, that high end sort of white noise that just jumps off the cymbal is a great thing for a big stage. But when you're in a small environment, sometimes you don't really want that. So these cymbals have a good feel, but they're still mellow sounding. I hit that pretty hard and it still wasn't, didn't hurt my ear at all. And the difference in pitch between the three crashes is really musical too. With the ride cymbals, as you can see from the GoPro shot above me here, there's more holes, more holes towards the edge of the cymbal. What that does is they're able to get even more specific with the frequencies and more definition. It's a ride cymbal. You want definition with the stick, with the tip of the stick hitting the cymbal when you're playing whatever pattern you're playing. And so with the holes down here towards the edge, they were, they were able to achieve that even more. Really nice stick definition on both of the two sizes of cymbals here. As you'll notice also, every cymbal has a raw bell. Great visual feature, but it gives a distinct sound to the cymbal. 
And I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, all of these symbols are made from B20 alloy. This is the super high-end alloy that every sort of high-end symbol out there on the market, no matter what brand, uses B20 alloy. So these are, are again, can't state it enough, these are real symbols. Now let's get into these hi-hats over here. Really nice feeling hi-hats, specific stick sound, good feel in the hands, all of that. But it's a little bit different than the crashes and the rides. Let me show you. For the hi-hat symbol, they only put one row of holes in the bell. The bottom symbol has no holes at all. And they have found that the perceived volume of the hi-hats with just the one set of holes is just enough to where you could still have a real sounding hi-hat, good feel in the hands, but again, that perceived volume is down a little bit. It's a little bit more mellow. Put the cymbal back on and play you that on its own. Here we go. Feels really good. It has a good chick sound too when you close the cymbal with your foot. Very cool. Let's get to another playing example. I mentioned this earlier in the video, but let's talk again about where these symbols fit in the musical environment. These are perfect for house of worship settings, small clubs, if you're in a wedding band, you're playing in banquet halls, like I said, musical theater, but also, aside from being a drummer, if you're like a worship leader at a church, the musical director of a particular band, and you want to find that solution for your player, this is a great option to check out. With that being said, Let's get back into another playing example because that's really what this is all about. I want you to hear what these symbols are all about. Now the playing examples that you're listening to right now, I've done with the fabulous Don Carr here at Sweetwater Studios, fabulous guitar player. And we came up with a few different styles that sort of fit that mold of, you know, house of worship style music or wedding sort of style music. We have a few different kinds of things, different tempos, different volumes, different intensities. This one is a little bit of a funky little jam. Again, you can see how these symbols really fit with no matter what kind of style of music you're playing. So as you heard with that last playing example, these are really versatile symbols. You can play any style of music with these Sabian FRX symbols. So now I'm gonna do a little comparison back and forth to regular sort of traditional sounding symbols. Set up a click track at 120 beats per minute and I'm gonna try my best to play the exact same thing. We're gonna cut back and forth between the FRX and some HHX evolution symbols.
All right, everybody, these are the Sabian FRX symbols, symbols specifically designed for playing environments where regular symbols, traditional symbols might be a little bit too much. Whether you're playing in a house of worship setting, a small club, a wedding band, musical theater, no matter what, these are a great option to check out. You don't have to hold back in your playing. You can still play your cymbals and your drums like you normally would. And they sound great, they record great. They're a lot of fun to play, very inspiring. So if you want any more information, about this Sabian product or any other Sabian product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching.